Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And Hillary Clinton is tied to yet another mysterious death. Former head of the UN General Assembly who was facing criminal charges in a federal bribery case died of asphyxiation after dropping a barbell on his neck, authorities said Thursday. John Ash was 61, who was president of the General Assembly from 2013 to 2014, died at his home in the Westchester village of Dobbs Ferry Wednesday morning from traumatic asphyxia with laryngeal cartilage fractures while lifting barbell on bench, county's medical examiner's office said in a statement. I don't know what country this is. I don't think it's uh, the United States. Uh, death was ruled an accident by the coroner. Nationally. The, uh, the current General Assembly President, Mogens Lickitoft, had said earlier that Ash died of a heart attack. So right there you have a discrepancy already in this one. It uh, can't be reconciled. So already there's been a lie in this case, is what this amounts to. Somebody's lying. Either the General Assembly President is lying or the coroner is lying. Ash's lawyer said his client had been suffering from an undiagnosed medical condition and that his family had discovered him passed out twice in the last few months. There's line number three. They can't all be true. Two of them are untrue by default. He is a loving and devoted family man, man who had every reason to fight this and live, said his attorney Jeremy Schneider. He called Ash's death a tragic loss for his family and community. Ash of the Caribbean nation of Antigua and Barbuda, Barbuda was charged with tra tax fraud in October for allegedly taking kickbacks in exchange for promises to pave the way for real estate deals and other business ventures, mostly in China. The feds said he used bribes cash to build a basketball court in his home. Ash also used the money to splurge on luxuries, including hand-tailored suits, Rolex watches, and a BMX, BMW X5 SUV, according to Manhattan U.S. Attorney Preet Bahara. It was the second death in this week of a defendant facing charges from Manhattan U.S. Attorney. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, Clinton connections. According to this source, what does it mean dot com, uh, Bush family rushes to Hillary Clinton's side after top U.N. official set to testify against her found dead. So this guy was getting ready to testify against her. Of course, we're expected to find believe that this is all a coincidence. Nothing to see here. Died of an accident. Just move along. And while a for new Foreign Intelligence Service SVR report circulating in the Kremlin today calls a master incestuous maneuver Bush crime family has rushed to the side of Hillary Clinton after a top UN official Set to testify against her in a district court yesterday was found dead by FBI agents who were set to deliver him before a grand jury. During the, this report, former UN President John Ash was scheduled to testify against Hillary Clinton in New York City District U.S. Court, but when FBI officials arrived as Dobbs Ferry, New York mansion. He is found dead of what UN President Mogens Lickens-Toff said was a heart attack, but that 
SVR intelligence, the analyst said in this report, was impossible to determine prior to an autopsy being performed and medical tests conducted. Alright, uh, this is a site by uh, Kevin Jackson, it's called Black Sphere, and he does not like Hillary one bit. He's basically repeating the uh, same stuff, but he's also saying for, uh, the timing of this heart attack is like the timing of Ron Brown's plane flying in the mountains since Brown had his hand forced by the Clinton Mafia tactics. As CNN reported at the time, a former business partner of the late Commerce Secretary Ron Brown testified in U.S. District Court Monday that Brown had told her that President and Mrs. Clinton supported a White House plan to sell seats on international trade missions to raise campaign contributions. Melinda Hill, who was under federal indictment for fraudulent business practices, claimed that Brown was angered when... White House political operatives forced him to provide seats on trade missions as a fundraising device. I'm getting a headache from all this. That uh, Kevin Jackson concludes by saying to call the Clintons crooked is to demean the word crooked. How pathetic there are Americans who would turn would vote for either one of these scoundrels. They will sell America down the river block by block, secret by secret. That's about the size of it, yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Uh, here's the Clinton Connection. Most of these sites didn't really record the Clinton Connections. Death by Barbell by a disgraced UN official John Ash could become a bigger obsession for a conspiracy theorist than... Vince Foster's 1993 wink-wink, nod-nod, suicide. Uh, I'm going to skip down. Ash was due in court Monday with his Chinese businessman co-defendant, N.G. Lap Seng, who was charged with smuggling $4.5 million into the U.S. since 2013 and lying that it was to buy art and casino chips. NG was identified in a 1998 Senate report as a source for hundreds of thousands of dollars illegally funneled through the Arkansas owner Charlie Tree to the Democratic National Committee during the Clinton administration. NG was not charged with any crime. NG and T. Tree had visited the White House several times for Democratic fundraising events and were photographed with then President Bill Clinton and First Lady Hillary Clinton. In other words, they're criminals, which we already know. One of the sources told me during the trial, prosecutors would have linked Ash to Clinton's bagman and she. It would have been very embarrassing. His death was conveniently timed. Yeah, you think? I mean, he dies when uh, the trial would have uh, put more suspicion on Hillary than she's already got. Ash's attorney, lawyer Jeremy Schneider, told me that he is sure Ash's death was an accident. It's not one iota of evidence that it was homicide. There's nothing like it all, this is nothing like, at all like Vince Foster. Ah, oh, bullshit. Well, there you have it. Um. Uh, another death tied to the Clintons. These people play rough. I mean... Anybody who pisses them off just seems to suddenly drop dead of an accident or commit suicide. They play rough. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to say it. Bill and Hillary make uh, Bonnie and Clyde look like angels. Or you could say uh, even Al Capone look like an angel. 
At least Al Capone used bullets. He, he was uh, civilized to an extent. I'm so sick of this. It's been ruled an accident, but I'm sure this is going to get talked about very extensively. I would hope so, at least. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.